Welcome to Chronicles of History, where we embark on a captivating journey through the annals of time. Today's video will be about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Ever heard of the Leaning Tower of Pisa? You know, the one that looks like it had one too many and is about to topple over any second now? Well, this iconic landmark is not just another architectural masterpiece, it's also a testament to the fact that mistakes can sometimes make you famous. Now let's get this straight, the Leaning Tower of Pisa was never intended to be a tourist attraction, nope, it was supposed to be a bell tower standing tall and proud in the heart of Pisa. But as fate would have it, the tower had other plans. So here we are talking about an architectural blunder that's become a world-renowned icon. It's like that one friend we all have, who always messes up but somehow ends up being the life of the party. So hold on to your hats because we're about to take a trip down memory lane. Now let's dive into the history of this slightly tipsy tower. The year is 1173. The place, Pisa, Italy, the project, a bell tower that would, unbeknownst to its makers, become a global sensation. In the heart of this bustling Italian city, a new project was underway. A tower was to be built, a bell tower to be precise, to accompany the beautiful Pisa Cathedral. The foundation was laid, and the first stone was placed with great ceremony. Little did they know, their grand project would soon become an architectural punchline. As the construction progressed, the tower began to reveal an unexpected character trait. It started leaning. Yes, you heard that right. The tower began to tilt even before the completion of the third level. The builders must have thought they were seeing things. Imagine the scene. They're laying the bricks making sure everything is level. And then, the tower just starts to lean. One can only imagine the architects scratching their heads, squinting at the blueprints and wondering if they'd had one too many glasses of Chianti at lunch. The cause of the lean was due to the soft ground on one side, unable to properly support the weight of the stone. But of course, the architects didn't know this at the time. They were probably too busy arguing over who was holding the level wrong. Despite the hiccup, the construction continued. But as the tower leaned more and more, it became clear that this was no ordinary construction problem. This was a full-blown architectural mishap in the making, and so, with the tower teetering at a precarious angle, the construction came to a screeching halt. And that's where we leave it, folks. A half-built bell tower, leaning like a drunken sailor in the middle of Pisa. The townsfolk must have been quite puzzled. After all, it's not every day you see a tower defying gravity. And so, the construction was halted leaving Pisa with a half-built already leaning tower. Talk about a cliffhanger. Fast forward almost a century later the Pisans were like, well we can't just leave it like that can we? So with renewed determination, they rolled up their sleeves and dusted off their blueprints. Now imagine being the architect tasked with fixing this leaning tower. Talk about pressure! But the Pisans were nothing if not persistent. They were determined to give this tower a fighting chance, much like a wobbly-legged fawn learning to walk. They resumed the construction but this time, with a twist. The upper floors were built with one side taller than the other in an attempt to compensate for the lean. It was a bit like trying to balance a wonky table by stuffing coasters under one leg. But, to their credit, it did slow the lean down a bit. As the construction continued, the Pisans were like determined parents cheering on their child at a school race. They celebrated every stone that was laid, and every inch that was gained. And finally, after almost two centuries of toil and sweat, the tower was complete. But oh boy it was far from ordinary. With its quirky lean and distinctive architecture, it was like the underdog in a movie who everyone thought would lose but refused to go down. It was the Rocky Balboa of towers, the Rudy Ruettiger of architecture. It was the comeback kid. And so, the tower stood, leaning proudly against the Pisan skyline, a testament to the city's resilience. It was a symbol of their refusal to give up, their determination to overcome the odds. It was their victory against gravity, their triumph against time. But as they say in the movies, every hero's journey has its trials. And the Leaning Tower of Pisa was no exception. Its journey was filled with twists and turns, just like its own structure. And so, after almost 200 years of drama, the Leaning Tower of Pisa was complete. But the story doesn't end there, folks. So, what's the deal with the Leaning Tower of Pisa now? Is it still leaning, or did it finally decide to lay down and take a nap? Well my friends let me tell you, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is as defiant as ever. It's still standing, and yes it's still leaning. But don't let that slant fool you the tower is far from ready for a siesta. 
In the modern era, many interventions have been put in place to prevent our beloved tower from toppling over. Think of it like a rebellious teenager who's had a few too many energy drinks. The grown-ups had to step in to ensure it didn't fall flat on its face. In the 1990s, the tower was closed to the public for over a decade, as engineers embarked on a mission to straighten it slightly and stabilize its foundations. They removed soil from underneath the higher side, a process known as soil extraction, to help reduce the tilt. They also added weights to the lower side to help balance it out. It's kind of like putting a book under a wobbly table leg, but on a much grander scale, and all that effort paid off. The tower now leans at an angle of about 4 degrees which is significantly less than before. It might not sound like much of a change but in the world of leaning towers, it's a big deal. It's like being able to touch your toes for the first time in years. The leaning tower of Pisa is now safe and stable, and it's expected to stay that way for at least another 200 years. So, there's no need to rush your visit. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And let's face it, a perfectly vertical tower just wouldn't have the same charm, would it? The lean is what makes it unique, it's what gives it character, it's what makes us tilt our heads and say, well, that's not something you see every day. So, there you have it, the leaning tower of Pisa, a testament to the fact that you can lean a little or a lot and still stand tall, or in this case, kind of slanted. So, we've learned a lot about the leaning tower of Pisa today. But here's one last fact to impress your friends with. Did you know that the number of steps actually varies from one side of the tower to the other? That's right. Due to its infamous lean, the staircase on one side has fewer steps than the other. Quite the architectural hiccup, wouldn't you say? Talk about a tower with a twist. Until next time, keep leaning towards your goals, just maybe not as much as our dear tower here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and comment below with your thoughts on this content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join our community of history lovers. Let's embark on this incredible voyage together, unraveling the chronicles of history one story at a time. Until next time, thanks for watching.